Alrighty, we are live. Hopefully this is good. All right, so all the BAP streamers out there, uh, let us know how the sound is. The sound should be good. Yeah, we're we're good. Double check. We're Double good. check. Sound check. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the shot. Yeah, we do have everybody in the shot. For like the first time in a while. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right, can everybody hear us? Yeah, that sounds good. Sound check good. Excellent. Uh, how did All you get right. data down here? What? How did you get internet down here? I just a black magic. What did you buy? I'm on uh, I'm on Hyatt Wi-Fi. It's giving us like one megabit per second, <laughs> which is good enough. Hopefully. Hey, 1080p, baby. Just going down with it. The YouTube, mega the YouTube uh, thing is warning me. Warning, current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. More info? Yes. I'm just like... You know what I'm saying. Can you hear The less time you have, the, the better. Thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that really is the most important thing. I want to turn this into the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. More info real quick. Stream rate is Maybe I should put the bit rate at 4,500. Anyway. Uh, uh, people are telling me idle chatter ended, but I don't know what that means. Do, do, do. I do the sound check with the music. Yeah, we have our Babs meeting today. Okay, cool. Whatever. All right. Welcome everybody to the January in-person meeting. Uh, we've been introducing ourselves here. Um, we can reintroduce ourselves when we give our updates. Perfect, yes, okay. excellent, we have audio. Um, time to see how many seconds delay we are. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Um, but I'm gonna take a look at that. All right, today we have actually, ooh, not bad, it's like a 10 second delay. Yeah. All right. That's another cool. to kick in. That's good stuff. I made sure to pick ultra low latency. If anyone is familiar with the, uh, the YouTube streaming uh, console, ultra low latency is what we're trying to do here. Um, all right. For people who don't know, I'm going to just like pick this up. I'm Fable Charm. Uh, I'm the chair of the convention, uh, but I'm also uh, doing a bunch of other stuff. Uh, you'll be hearing a lot of updates from me, uh, especially regarding. Look at these awesome shirt. Who has a shirt? Put it up. No, are these all here? Y'all just <laughs> look at these. Look at these shoes. Look at that shirt. You haven't seen that one since 2015. Very um, happy. Uh, the one main thing that I want to tell everybody before we start, I suppose, is uh, is uh, there we go, right here. Nice to see you. Uh, is that we have an online merch store now? This has been like months in the making. We've had uh, artists from from the past and from the current and maybe even from the future contribute to our uh, online merchandise. What's really great about this is that it is a, um, a, a new, I guess, stream of revenue for the convention that allows people to support the con um, without needing to attend, because uh, they know sometimes attending is hard. Uh, and uh, it also gives them awesome, cool swag. So not only do we have every single BabsCon shirt that's ever been sold, uh, we have some new shirts, we have some new, completely new designs uh, on things like mugs, on things like notebooks, on actual, literal shoes. Look at those designs, look at this. What are those? What are those? The BabsCon kicks, baby. <laughs> so if you if you want to uh, to attend BabsCon in style, or even just show off your support for BabsCon in style, please go to uh, r.babscon.com slash swag. You can also just go to Etsy and search for BabsCon and we're there. I think our, our store name is like BabsCon Official, Bab things like BabsCon Official or something. Um, so uh, it's, it's one of the, it's a new way to support the con. The money goes directly into uh, funding the con, making it more amazing for everybody, making sure that the artists get their perks, making sure that uh, we have all the guests of honor that you could ever want, making sure that we paid off the hotel so that we keep being here, uh, look at this, look at this, look at that, look at that, beautiful, <laughs> and, and pay for that. It is official BabsCon store on Etsy. It's official BabsCon store on Etsy. All one word. Um, yes. Uh, you can search for BabsCon on Etsy, it'll, it'll show up. You can even search on Google Etsy BabsCon, it'll show up. Don't 
either imitation maps. Or so, so, no, 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 no. <laughs> so oh, what's the most important about the online store is that uh, everything there is online exclusive. Uh, we do not yeah, plan on selling much. them physically at the BabsCon merchandise store. Um, we, but we will have other products there too. Um, so please, if you're if you're wanting to support the con, um, <coughs> buy now when it matters. Um, it's great when people you know buy stuff at our at our merch store and stuff. But really, that's kind of more funding like the next year um, because we've already spent the money. <laughs> um, so we need the money now in order to make 2020 super awesome. Uh, also, like I said to other people, if if you want to support the con, uh, but not give into the facade of like consumerism and capitalism and all that, just straight up PayPal at babscon.com. You can just give us money. 100% of that goes to us. Um, I know there's been people on the Discord that go, is there a way to just give you money? Uh, and and we're like, yes, that's the please. Best question that's the ever. best. I know. I know. That it's it's nice. Um, thank you all of our, our sponsors who, um, who act, they're the ones who ask that question. People who already gave us a lot of money are like, is, can we give you more without Burdening the con, yes. PayPal at um, So check out our Etsy. Check out our um, uh, check out our PayPal. PayPal at Check out uh, all of the things on slash prem as in a premium experiences. Uh, if you go to our website, we've actually we've got the little navigation menu. Uh, please check out all of the new stuff. We have a lot of premium experiences, including things like the Brony Chef meals. We have, for kids, we have a LARP going on. Um, is it also, yeah, let me just double check. So, is this everybody? Webbabscon.com slash prem. What do we got? What do we got? Look at all this. We got, let me make sure I can see. Ah! We got Silver Span Salon. Look at all my ponies. Anyway, Silver Span Salon. Uh, you can have your own panel room. You can do whatever you want, almost. Uh, uh, 100 bucks for you and 19 friends. Brony Chef, there's three meals. They're delicious. Um, they are made. Brony Chef is a actual, legit actual, chef. Yeah, actual chef. He is four-star chef. He was four-star chef. He was the previous chef to um, the former president of Mexico. He's a legit guy. Yeah. Um, so if you want to eat his food, it is amazing. And he has an actual restaurant in Mexico City. Yes. Can vouch. That yep. food was like orgasm. Um, there's a Marshall Bronies if you want to learn. Um, uh, I think it's a, uh, oh my God. Martial arts is two things. There's one of them is martial arts and one of them is something else. Just check it out. And then the kids LARP, uh, if you want your kids to have a super awesome time with tons <coughs> of little prizes and gifts and things, um, please sign up for that. It's all on their website. Yeah, just wanted to put that out there first. Um, right, let's, let's start. Right, updates. Oh, we already introduced ourselves before. We'll introduce ourselves as we talk. Um, we already yeah, did thank you for joining us, uh, bad streamers. All right, uh, who wants to go first? Want to go this way? Want to give your updates? No, no, I'm fine. All right, <laughs> want to go this way? <laughs> that's what I was looking for. We can go, we can go backwards. Um, so, uh, any updates from you? From me? Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, cool. Excellent. Who are you? I'm Old Rebecca. <laughs> Yay. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a board member. I'm a co-founder. I uh, wrote the registration system, and I named the con. Yay. All right. Next up is Sonia. Hey, folks. Just wanted to let you know that we have some upcoming guests of honor in the uh, pipeline. You know, it's not just the ones that are there right now. Uh, don't want to tip my hand quite yet, but we got some good ones, including... Uh, some folks from the writing, comics, and voice acting world of My Little Pony, and you're gonna like them. Who did we, or unless Alex wants to do this, but who did we announce in December? Because it's been it's been a while since we've last done an in person. What are some updates? Oh, oh, I, I can I can do the guest now. Uh, Alex, do you want to do it? If not, I can do it. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? I can. You're you're closer to the camera than I am. I'm I'm all the way back. You can always come up. Hey! You're a full exec. We should you're All right, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. So in, um, let's see, in December, we announced uh, that Andy Price will be joining us again, which is pretty fantastic. 
uh, especially especially yeah, given that we have Gail Simone here and like they know each other. So there's going to be some weird comic synergy going on, especially with some of the other comic folks that are going to be joining us later. Um, we also announced in December, God, who the heck else did we announce in December? Now I'm making to consult the website. Um, <laughs> What's the website? The website is babscom.com. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think that was it for December because we announced Daniel Ingram right before that in the uh, Black Friday so that, uh, weekend scale. Yeah. So, yeah. so who is all going? Our guests of honor this year that we have announced thus far. Oh, they're on the back of the postcards, Sonia. Not all of them. Oh, not all. Yeah, not all. So our guests, our guests of honor thus far include no, Nicole no. Oliver, voice Ooh. of uh, Princess Celestia. <laughs> and Shirley and Tree Hugger and a bunch of other folks. Like y'all know, because you know Nicole. So she will be joining us again, first time since 2016 she's been here. Uh, Daniel Ingram, like I said, the show's amazing composer, who writes all those awesome songs. And we haven't seen him at BabsCon since 2015. Apparently he's bringing some new, some new song or new mix or something to BabsCon that, that, that will be never before heard. So we're very jazzed about that. I love it. We have our first ever experimental, oh my god, getting dangerous, non-pony guest in the voice acting royalty that is Gray Delisle Griffin. Um, and for someone who was not actually on the show, she's as, as close to somebody as, uh, she's as close to having been on the show as anyone who's not on the show can have been. She did, uh, she did lend her voice to, um, Epic Rage Time, that wonderful derpy video as derpy for free. Oh, she is pony. And uh, she's she's BFFs with Lauren Faust and Tara Strong. She's worked with both of them a ton of times on a million things. Uh, currently voices Wonder Woman on DC Superhero yeah, Girls, for example. Uh, and yeah, so everyone should be pretty jazzed about her because you know, much like Tara, she is the voice of your childhood. We've got the return of Peter New, who hey. hasn't been here in a few years. Hey. We're pretty jazzed to see him back. You know, everybody loves Peter. Hopefully we'll have some other craziness like Princess Big Mac or Revenge of Tubcon or who the heck knows when Peter New is in town. Did you want to did you did you want to Well something similarly mad. Did you want to plug any podcast you may or may not go on? I will shortly. Let me get through the guests. We have guest star writer Gail Simone, who wrote uh, the Between Dark and Dawn episode of the show, but also is a living American legend of comic book writing and, to a lesser degree, comic animation writing. Um, her runs on such little known indie titles as uh, Wonder Woman, Deadpool. Birds of, Birds of Prey, Batgirl, etc., 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 ad nauseum, range from the merely beloved to the downright definitive. So having her here when she can normally only be found at giant comic megacons is nothing short of miraculous. Uh, and like I said, Andy Price will be coming back. I know it's basically not BabsCon without Andy because he always adds so much to this con. And if I have the count right, this is our first five-timer, right? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, we, we, got, we, can, we can start. So we have a three-timers club. Now, my, much like Saturday Night Live, we have a five-timers club. But it's really important to have Andy this year, and I'll tell you why. Because Andy is drawing the at least the initial run of something that we never thought we'd get, which is My Little Pony Season 10. That's right. Dun, 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 dun. And when is that coming, when is that releasing so many? Why, thank you for asking me that, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. The initial comic for, for, uh, for My Little Pony Season 10 will be dropping in April. Oh, oh my God. God. From what year? It's like 2020. 2020. <laughs> 1923. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Like I said, the upcoming guests are going to be really jazzed. You're going to love them. Um, and hopefully we will have yet more people in the pipeline. We, we, we intend to keep announcing guests for a while. Um, it's going to be another great list this year. So that's uh, that's my contribution. And uh, I also want to give a plug to one of my personal favorites among our um, among our community guests. Because, I mean, all our community guests are awesome and I love them. You know, I definitely love you know, I definitely love full papers and silver quill and a bunch of the other great, great folks. But 
I'm so glad we have Dana Simpson coming again, because talk about local girl made good, right? I mean, she created Phoebe Under Unicorn, which has 10 printed volumes now, is syndicated, um, is translated into, into an insane number of languages, and you know, she really came to prominence because of this fandom, so you know, I, I don't understand people, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tangent a little bit. Bear with me, it won't be long, I, pro I, I promise. I don't understand people who are like, oh, they left the fandom. No, people didn't leave the fandom. They used, they used all the skills and creativity that they built in this fandom to make amazing new things. That doesn't mean they left the fandom. They still love the fandom. That's why they come to the cons. So Dana Simpson, awesome. And having both her and Nicole Oliver in one place is always a joy. Anyway. <laughs> So that's it. Uh, you know who the guests are. You know that we have upcoming guests, and I'm and I'm just going. Oh no, I'm not telling you who. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Dana Simpson. Great, fantastic. Next. What about uh, any podcasts that? Uh, oh, gets of podcasts. Honor? Right, 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 right. And we were all on uh, uh, Andy and myself. Uh, who else was there from the Was it just us? It was just me, me, you, and. I mean, Tugs counts, I guess. Yeah. No, but like, who's the? The main event of that podcast. Oh right! Oh, some guy, um, Peter, Peter something, Peter. No, Peter, no. Yep. Uh, we were all together on the fur. What it's worth. That's fur, like furries. Like um, but check it out. Fur <laughs> yes, we were on the furry podcast. All right. Oh my God! I know. You're so debasing <laughs> yourself. Yep. Like <laughs> the. The podcast is run by uh, Tugs, who was our former um, PR and marketing head uh, years two years ago. Uh, two or three years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. still def definitely a friend of the con. Um, so we've been, people on, of Babscon have been on this podcast before. I think Sonia's been on there before. I have, yeah. Um, apparently I was on there before and then I like forgot. <laughs> um, and I think Sophie's been on there too. Uh, but this, I think this is the first time that we've ever been able to be on there also with a guest of honor. That's true. Uh, yeah. At our con. So that's pretty great. Uh, so for what it's worth, I think the episode is titled um, The End of Friendship or something. Like Friendship is Ending or Friendship is Over. You'll see it's the only one that has like the word pony in it. Um, it's it's pretty funny. Uh, it is definitely like not safe for work, so don't listen to it like at work or whatever. Or, or, or around, around, or around your, children. Around your wee ones. You know, put, yep. on head, put on headphones. Yes. Cool. All right. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's me taking up too much of your time. Ooh. Well, no, it's the uh, super awesome. All right, thank you guys. Thank you for your updates. Um, does anyone on this side here have updates? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sweep. CCG will be doing uh, volunteer applications soon. Uh, we're getting our volunteers to fill out the applications. Uh, yeah. Schedule will be made within the next month or so. Um, this will be interesting uh, because this will be the first year that CCG will have run activities where uh, Interplay is no longer producing the card game, but the community organization Commentary is Magic is uh, continuing to produce cards and sets that people can print out and play with. So if you don't have a collection of cards and you'd like to play, but you're worried about how expensive it is, good news! If you have a printer, you can play. Those proxies are legal. So, that's exciting. Uh, everything will be live streamed like it normally is. Um, it's business as usual. Cool. Um, I also hear you're hiring for um, like tabletop. No, no, you're arcade for tabletop. Tabletop. Different department. Okay. Which one are we? Tip CCG. Okay. Cool. Oh, wait, so that's right. All right. Cool. Back in the day, we used to be together. So yes. We're still uh, living in the past. Cool. Do you guys have any staffing needs or anything like that? I think we have volunteers. Yeah. yeah. We'll be good. Excellent. Cool. Uh, I see Athena in the back there, but you're kind of like. Hidden behind <laughs> behind this guy. So here we go. There we go. Now we can see it. Dina, HR lead. Um, as of today, we have 227 applicants. Whew. Uh, 170 are accepted. So if you guys in here or out there in the verse still need staff, there's 49 applicants that you need to go through and find yourself a Also, if you have any questions, If you're here in the meeting, come see me and I can help you out. Bye. Yeah, you can count on two shirts. Excellent. <clears throat> All right. Any people want to do updates? Boom, arcade. 
All right, uh, Buttons Arcade here. We uh, just uh, just about uh, finished uh, stacking up. Um, big thing that uh, we need to get out there, though, is that uh, we host tournaments every year. One for Smash Brothers, one for uh, Devs Fighting Hearts. Smash is fully covered. We got all the setup we could possibly need. Yes. Devs Fighting Hearts, on the other hand, we need some help. We need, at a minimum, four, but ideally six PCs or laptops that can run them fighting herds at 60 frames per second consistently. That's a very important note because while our attendance for that is notably smaller than Smash Brothers, that doesn't mean the people who join it aren't as competitive. They need those consistent frames so that they don't drop their combos or anything, and also just to make it an enjoyable experience all around. What are the recommended specs for those computers? Uh, I have it written down somewhere. I can't get to tell you off the top of my head, but it does show on uh, their page on Steam. Okay. You just look it on there. It'll post it right down below. Cool. But uh, yeah, last year we uh, had we had five units. I'd like to get that number there again. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Right, I think the fun is next in the line of sight. Right, uh, I'm Paula. I am the design director and um, currently in charge of theatrics at the Sands. Um, um, as far as design is concerned, um, we are really, really excited. We have um, animation currently in the works. Um, we have comics that are hopefully going to be we're going to be putting out by the end of here of January. We'll have comics ready to begin going out. Um, so they'll be all we, we think up until con. Um, and then we also have even more merch coming. We Whoa. have a bunch of designs that we've just finalized. Another couple of designs that we're finalizing that we're going to be putting up onto our Etsy store. So there's even more designs than what's up there already coming. Um, we also have uh, a couple of other little things planned uh, at con for design and stuff like that. So we're super excited about that. Um, and as far as theatrics, um, we are we were on our way for that. Uh, we are still looking for two actors. So if anyone is interested in being a fair in this blade, who can technically look like anyone, so we're willing to work with people. Um, and we also need a copper chip. So we need somebody who is super, high, super, super bubbly, kind of sweet. <laughs> um, beyond that, um, we're just we're just barreling forward at this point. So we hope everybody is super excited for what we're going to be putting out before con and at con. So please, please support our artists by checking out our Etsy store. They've all worked extremely hard, and they they are super excited to see what people are going to be wearing at con. By their art. By the art. By their own shoes. <laughs> um, somebody on the chat asked, um, uh, "What is an actor? Like, what is it? What does it mean to be an actor for Fab's Con?" Um, so if you've ever been to our convention, you will have seen that we have actors who are in costume who are our mascots. Um, so that entails being at being on stage, that would entail doing small skits, that involves uh, working with the specific departments, children programming in specific. Um, so there will be a lot of interacting with children um, with that. Uh, but we're just looking for people who are super fun, who are super into the fandom, who are just enjoying, you know, being around people, you know? And to be clear, the, the costumes aren't like fursuit costumes, they're no, like... No, no, they are, they are, you are the human equivalent of our mascots mm -hmm. here in the human world, usually trying to get back to the pony world because cans are weird. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Uh, can I, uh, yes. can I amend uh, my, uh, Go ahead. my announcement a little bit? Uh, thanks for my second. He uh, got me the uh, recommended uh, specs for those fighting cards. Uh, OS, either Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. A dual core CPU at, 10, at 2 gigahertz or greater speed. 3 gigabytes of RAM. A dedicated GPU from NVIDIA or AMD. At at least 750 megabytes of VRAM. Strongly recommended. Uh, version 10 of DirectX and two gigabytes of available space.
Now, uh, the machines that we had gotten last year, like some of them were significantly beefier than that, but if you can, uh, if any of you guys can like at least meet those recommended settings and uh, test and see that they do run at 60 frames consistently, and there is a setting on Steam that allows you to do that, and you have like a little counter at the top left hand corner or so on the screen, that would be awesome. And uh, if anybody is able to help out, you can contact me through uh, my Babscon email, kyle at babscon.com. Thank you very much. Excellent. Cool. Um, I've got a 486 just, with 16 gigs of RAM and a 100 meg hard drive. I'll give it to you. 16 megs of RAM, you mean? <laughs> just so 16 megabytes of meg. <laughs> um, just a few, a few quick notes. Uh, one, just because I'm seeing the uh, the volume levels on the computer here. There's literally a concert happening right behind those doors <laughs> yeah. no, for all the bad streamers. It is very loud. Um, so uh, sorry if you're hearing the bass. Just pretend they're webs. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm seeing the, the things. So if you hear the bass, that's what it is. Sorry about that. Also, some some updates uh, just through the um, through the live stream from different departments before they fly off and I forget. Um, hospitality. Uh, who here is related to hospitality staff? I guess it would be, would be in charge. Alice. Alice is in charge of uh, operations, which is uh, which, uh, which is cut support, which is hospitality. Um, hospitality. These are the people that um, is Common Cove under hospitality now. Or yes. Was so <clears throat> these people that do the Common Cove, just like was mentioned there. Um, uh, these are also the people that do our staff feed. Um, so basically, these and staff feed is uh, every staffer at Babscon gets free food. Free food. That's the best, in my opinion, the best yeah. perk that Babscon gives. Um, so uh, and it's like good nutritious food. Uh, it's not like chips and an apple, although we will probably have those. It is also things like hot dogs and pastas and rice, meatballs. Uh, meatballs. And there are vegetarian options. There are vegetarian options. Like real vegetarian. There's one together. I know you want to get to it. If you have any uh, dietary restrictions, what? Yes, um, you can add those in your um, your staff application if you haven't done that yet. Um, I think you can go back and edit your staff. Yeah, edit. But uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, but if you have if you have dietary restrictions, uh, hospitality at Babs. Just email us. Uh, so hospitality needs staff. They're looking at ideas for new menu items that can serve a large number of people quickly with limited cooking devices i.e. microwaves and slow cookers. Thanks. I have an Instapot if that helps. I don't know. Does anyone else have an Instapot? Yeah, that thing? I want it. Yeah. Like, crock pots are always a yeah, yeah, yeah. good way to go. Both yeah, it's true. just like a bad suitcase right. or something. If, if Hospitality mm -hmm. wants my Instapot, I'll give it to you. Um, you start, accessibility <laughs> also needs yeah. staff. Uh, does anyone here accessibility staff or like know about the department in detail? Okay. So um, about the accessibility stuff. All right. So I know that the accessibility department. Um, one of the things that they do is they have a. Uh, they are represented in uh, registration. Uh, you it basically, if you have accessibility needs, you go and you get a sticker or some indicator. Um, that's always a <laughs> thing that we have to decide. At some sort of indicator um, that you uh, have accessibility needs um, and you are able to do things like um, get seated first for panels and things like that. Um, and you get special considerations for other other portions of the con, um, so please uh, use that. Uh, it's been one of our uh, most successful. Like, I think we started it in 2018 or 2017. 2017. Well, Mina is no, three years old now. Oh yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, and and I've even been to other conventions. I'm not gonna name names, um, but uh, like. They have basically no accessibility uh, considerations, even in the panel spaces, um, like for even just seating. Uh, so it's always surprised me um, at how little other cons do. Uh, but we try to go all out and we try to do as best as we can uh, with the resources that we have uh, to make sure that everyone has a great time. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want to be a part of that staff, uh, the accessibility staff, please. Um, Put in an application at uh, r.babscon.com slash vol or volunteer. Uh, I think that's going to come slash volunteer also works. Um, 
but you can just go to our website and you'll see the little volunteer button. Let's see, is there anything else? Da -da -da. The Uh, if anyone was interested in the Brony Chef stuff and wanted to be part of the Brony Chef staff um, to make sure that that goes smoothly, so that includes things like making sure we have we have all the plates and stuff because we did it last year, uh, but just to help help, it's like literally just him right now. Um, I'm sure he has some other staff, but if you want to help staff the Brony Chef stuff um, and help uh, either like plate the food or maybe serve the food or do stuff. Um, please let us know. Uh, you also, I'm pretty sure, get to like have some of the food. So uh, these are experiences that you normally have to pay money for, uh, but if you help us out, we'll help you out. So, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. That's all the updates from the live stream right now. Uh, who else is going? Anyone else have updates? I know we did VIPR. Updates, updates, updates. All right, cool. Let's go back to over here. Uh, do either of you guys have updates? Uh, for, well, we already had accessibility and we had hospitality, so that knocked two off the list. So kind of going down my list, uh, logistics. Um, we rented the truck, so the truck has been reserved. Oh, really? Um, nice. It's ready to go. So. I don't know if we want to talk prices here, but it's no, a bit no. cheaper. Talk, talk to you about, about me since I need to make sure that we have some. Uh, InfoDesk, uh, they do have uh, staff. They have two new people um, that will be helping out with them this year. So they're looking to work with uh, Nan and uh, EMP to talk over some stuff that you know, Nan wants to make sure that they're um, up on, make sure that they're announcer letting people know when they come to info desk um, flare there's really no update with flare but they will be coming with their usual compliment uh, I've been working with Simon on that day to see if they can tweak the numbers a little bit but mainly we, we do have a set of people that are going to do that. Uh, con ops no real updates other than they're reasonably comfortably staffed um, they're going to be trying some new things this year. Major the lead does want to plan to come to one of our final couple meetings and do uh, some announcements and just ra radio etiquette talk and um, what do's and don'ts uh, for her department. Um, what else? And we run in radios. Uh, we just. Uh, I'm waiting to get the contract back to sign for that. Um, other than that, it just normal convention support, just supporting the teams that make up the up the convention support group. Um, been helping out with the HR and some other stuff, you know, staff shirt stuff and things like that for her. Um, working with Stefan and the design group, to, or, uh, Stefan and the merch for getting his uh, measurements for his rooms. Um, uh, what else? Uh, did I miss anything? No, I think I got everything. Everything. Um, Discord. Uh, we've had some more talk on the. Patreon side of things and somebody brought up the idea about uh, doing um, offering a bridging comic between the two conventions like you know basically this comic would kind of set up the next convention and like theme wise to kind of explain the theme change I guess so to speak is what I make make it out so they were saying that that could be a perk if get the Patreon thing um, going so it's kind of interesting talking about that but other than that that's about it for our group cool um, you mentioned um, you mentioned something that I was going to add on to but I'm forgetting what it was uh, radios 
Accessibility staff will be kind of monitoring and taking care of the uh, cosplay lounge. So, if you know anybody or want to be in charge of uh, cosplay and help taking care of uh, people in costumes and doing repairs, uh, put in your application. Let us know, and we can we'll hire you. We need we need a lead and lead and staff and second for that group. Cool. Um, I have a quick update that um, I forgot about. Uh, I, I, I forget what you said, but it's right. Yeah, sure. No, um, uh, BabsCon's going to be at FurCon. Yay! Yay. Uh, we're going to be selling merchandise, uh, not at, I believe, not at the vendor hall, but like just at our normal table that we normally have. That's correct. The vent table. Um, so they're very nice um, to let us do that. And one is for. Uh, when is FurCon? Good question. It's it like two weeks from now. It is Martin Luther King Day weekend. Yes. Um, it's so, coming up fast. Yes. Uh, so a lot of people have that Monday off. Um, so please come join us, support the con. We'll have um, plenty of um, merch and stuff. And uh, yeah, and discounts as well. What's the BabsCon party? Oh yeah. I legit. Oh, All right. <laughs> the BabsCon <laughs> party <laughs> at FurCon <laughs> is legendary. Um, yeah, if you, the, the only, the, the only <laughs> con that like rivals BabsCon in terms of our party floor is FurCon, um, and we're there. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so if you want to, and this time we have a suite, not like one of those small rooms. We have an actual big room. Uh, uh, so not only will we be selling, um, or not selling, but not only will we be providing um, booze. Uh, deliciously themed booze from our wonderful bartenders, Sophie. Um, are you going to be bartending? You guys can give me a tip. All right, cool. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, we have a number of bartenders coming. Uh, we have awesome, great things to, to uh, have you guys drink. But we'll also be selling merch then. It'll be great. You'll probably see me there. I'll be the merch guy. Um, and, uh, yes. Fable, is uh, Furcon the convention where Babscon was conceived? Was it? No, no, it was not. No. no. Okay. All right, edit that out. Edit that out. Edit that was that was me. Oh, that was me. Oh, 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 wait, we're on. Nice try, though. No, nice try. Travis Scott, tell me I'm very good. Although I'm sure the party floor was inspired by by. Nope. Also inspired by Bacon. Oh, yeah. Bacon. Never mind. All right. I've never been to Berkeley before. Okay. Cool. Um, just half half our staff are for anyway. So <laughs> so um, so be there at, at Fricon. We're there to support us. Thank you. Hi. Yo. Do you <laughs> want to talk about the Zello experiment we're doing? Uh, like no. Not, no. What now? No. Okay. Because that's just for that's just for whoever would normally have a radio. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I think so. Cool. We're experimenting with other other means of radio, but that's gonna only affect maybe like fourteen people. So <laughs> it should be fine. Let's see. People, were, does anyone happen to remember the room number of um, the host, the uh, staff feed? No. It's on the second floor. Twenty eighty. 2080. Well, it's varied over the years. Has it really? I thought it was always the same thing. No, it's, All right. it's, it's on the second floor. floor. 41? It is on the second floor. It's on the second floor. It's always on the second floor. I know people in the chat are asking about this. Basically, announced. we, we that's, exactly. We, once we know what it is, we that's like the first thing we tell uh, everyone at Con. Furcon, yeah. Arizona? No. Furcon, further confusion in San Jose, California. I should probably say where this convention is. <laughs> <laughs> it's in San Jose, California. It's right down the street. Um, yeah. Convention center. It is an experience. Uh, I think the center. It. The. It's true. It is. It is. Each else. each city does have its own sales tax. Uh, we're not in San Francisco. We're in Burlingame. I think Burlingame is like nine point two five percent. Yeah, that's San Mateo County. Yeah, San Mateo County. So people are asking all the very specific questions on the chat today. Like, wow. That's good. Yeah. yeah, so apparently the San Mateo is uh, higher than San Francisco. Yeah. 
No, we're not talking about fur coming to Arizona. <laughs> San Jose. Uh, in the UK, apparently, the sales tax is 20%. Okay. Is that a, is that a value added tax? Yeah, value added tax. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else in the room have updates they want to give? I have some that are given to me on Slack, so I'll be reading those. Okay. I was going to point this at me. <clears throat> Did we even advertise the link on the general channel? Was that announcement? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, good. Oh, we did. oh nice. No, we did. All right, thank you. Thank you guys for doing that. I love it. No, every, everyone's a part-time PR person. Uh, let's see. One time All right, I want to just straight up read some things from the thing. Hey, but that's awesome. He's my favorite country. Oh, let's see. Oh. All right. No, no, no. Um, I was thinking Kurt Pat. <laughs> business. Uh, so Sophie has some business updates. Um, flights for all of our guests of honor people will be booked this month. Uh, if your department needs a flight for any reason, uh, please go to the uh, the in person meeting channel, uh, and there's a link to a form or a Google Doc, and fill out the appropriate information. Uh, it is not the business. It is not the business department's job to track you down and make sure you have all the flights you need booked. Uh, this likely will be my full-time research level of work for the next couple, for the next couple of weeks. All right. Likewise, I will start to source purchases starting this month. Uh, this may not be until after FurCon for most purchases, but I may work on some of these next week depending on the item. If you have a large cost or bulk stuff that needs to be bought, please contact Sophie um, with the list of the Google Doc so that uh, she can get started. Exceptions to this are ConStore, who will likely be sourcing things through manufacturers, Staff Feed, I'll work, and then she says, I'll work with you guys for ideas at ways to cut down costs, but most of the buying will likely be on your end. Um, is there a Staff Feed channel? Good question. The fact that yes, she's asking that is. Is, is there really? Okay. There is a channel for everything, Fable. Okay. Way too many And, uh, and um, petty expenses. I don't yeah. need to source drumsticks in this manner, nor boxes of pencils. Um, that is hilarious. Um, fun BabsCon historical fact. The one time we had, well, what year was it? Was it the first year or second year? It was the second year. For what? For the drumsticks. Second. We basically had a musician. We had a, we had a concert, but we didn't have drumsticks. And we were like, what? And so we had to dash over to the, um, to the guitar, center, guitar center, like yeah. two minutes before it closed. Um, and it's kind of far away. It's, there's not like a guitar center down the street. It's like, yeah. it's way over there. Um, so that was crazy. Yeah. So it's like, that's the, so we say, oh, we have, do we have the drumsticks? It's like a thing we do uh, to make sure we have all the things we need. You know, we also ran out <clears> to get uh, microphones to Radio Shack. <laughs> Uh, theme has the story outline that can be worked on, uh, according to Sophie. I'm just reading what she's saying here. Uh, the next step is rough scripts and rehearsals, costume building, and any props we might need. Uh, we'll have room requests for those that need them and the like shortly as we figure out who will need that. I'll be making a list in the next week of things uh, we'll have to work on. Scavenger hunt for children's programming. Uh, con slash panel interaction, etc., with other departments. Um, for departments specifically, if you need rooms, like it costs nothing to reserve them. So let us know when you, if you need rooms, um, and and we and when I say costs nothing to reserve them, I mean it costs nothing for us to have the rooms. I mean that in order to hold them for us to use. Um, and then pay for it later, it doesn't cost us anything. Um, so if you still haven't given us things to, or rooms to reserve, please do so quickly, because they're running out. Also, for attendees, uh, reserve your rooms quickly, they're running out. Um, it doesn't cost anything to reserve them, 
you pay when you leave. Um, so if you're if you're like holding back because it'll cost a lot, it will cost a lot, but after that. Not right now. Not right now. Exactly. <laughs> and you can also cancel too, uh, before three days of the convention. So there's literally no downside. Let's see. Nan from Events and Programming says, critical staff needs, cosplay leads and staff, uh, and tabletop staff. Uh, January promotion, ooh, so things that we're gonna be announcing in January for Events and Programming uh, include the rest of the musical guests. We've already announced three of our musicians, uh, but we will be announcing more, in fact, announcing all of them in the month of January. Uh, we will also promote all of the add-on experiences and workshops. That's the things that I promoted at the beginning. But in case you weren't here for that, do 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 do. If you go to our website and go to our premium experiences, uh, premium experiences include uh, having your very own, uh, having your very own custom silver span salon. Uh, what that is, is uh, um, Silver Spence Salon is normally like our community guest meet and greet, and we have like community guests of different types, and you reserve which ones you want to meet. Uh, but this is a custom one. Think of it like Five Nights at Freddy's Custom Night, where you can get whatever community guests you want, uh, within reason. Uh, for you and your buddies, uh, and uh, it costs money to do that, but it costs less if you allow um, attendees to also attend your own custom uh, panel, your own custom meet and greet. So that's super fun there. Will they dance for you? Uh, and, then they'll, yes. <laughs> and then they'll kill you? Sure. No? What? It's just like Five Nights at Freddy's. Jump scares and all. Uh, we also have Brownie Chef, uh, super delicious food. Let's see if we have, do we have what the items will be? What are the beautiful flower? They will be excellent. Yes, they will be. There's a dinner. Uh, that will include, uh, oh, they're all based on uh, villains. I love it. Four courses of villainy, uh, cr a chrysalis appetizer, a discord salad, a T-Rex main course, and a cozy glow dessert. We also have a lunch, uh, an appetizer. Just let cozy take care of everything. Oh my god, I have not read these. Uh, main course, hey neighbor, want to be friends? And dessert, <laughs> this, is not, this is not the real me. I'm cute and lovable. And then for brunch, these art pieces. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can read all these on our website. But uh, the appetizer for the Changeling brunch is uh, appetizer. It will be mine. Main course, love chicken. I don't know what that means. Uh, dessert. Uh, hey, I'm just here for the food. Nice. Is that a Changeling? Hey. That is a Changeling. Uh, excellent. <laughs> I'm the chair, I'm the con chair. I should get all the references. <laughs> uh, Martial Bronies. I know there's two, there's two things that they have. There's a martial arts workshop and a dance workshop. Um, those will be Friday and Saturday, respectively. Uh, yeah, you get to learn, uh, join Firewing, a dance instructor, and learn some cool moves before the electric pony carnival which is a thing. Uh, try out our dances like cha-cha and East Coast Swing. Good times. If you want to purchase these, uh, you can go to your um, your ticket that you bought for BAPSCon, and uh, you can click on the link in there, and you can purchase add-ons. We are also going to be experimenting with uh, doing like a PayPal add-on thing that'll go right onto the website. That's not done yet, uh, but that'll be happening soon, so you don't have to go back to your, uh, you have to go back to your ticket to get more things. And then, of course, the kids LARP. Look at this beautiful thing. Uh, special guest tea party at the end. So this is a, uh, a little LARP slash um, scavenger hunt that we do with the kids, age uh, 2 through 16. Um, uh, there's lots of fun little secrets. We go around the convention. Uh, I believe you make some things, and also you will be receiving some things. Uh, so the price of admission is well worth what you will be receiving, um, since I know what you will be receiving. Uh, I'm just going to say it right now, plushies. So here we go. Uh, all for the kitties, because we love them so much. Uh, there will be more premium experiences coming soon, uh, but those are the ones we have right now. So when we say premium experiences, that's what we mean. 
do do do. Let's see. What's our attendee levels right now? Our attendee levels right now are con secret. That's right. I see all you other con chairs in the in the live stream looking. Uh, but we are above what we were last year, so that is my favorite thing. Um, and we are also both um, monetarily and um, numbers-wise, we are hit. We are breaking last year, so I'm super happy about that. Breaking last year at this point in time, or breaking at this point in time? Okay. At this point, yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> that would be great. If, like, we still have three months, and it's all profit, baby. Um, I said the word profit just there. We are not profit in every single way. Um, we don't. Revenues. Nobody keeps. Nobody keeps money. Uh, it's all about the revenue, baby. Uh, it all goes back back into the con. Um, yeah. Let's see. What are the updates? Packages still available. It looks like that's it. Oh, that's right. Um, speaking of speaking of things. I know, right? Hold on. Speaking of registration. We should add a really nice big uh, sold out. Yeah. Sold out there. Which one <laughs> went away? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm trying to. I think it was crystal. crystal. Let me double check. Jim. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> I'm like, our registration system is updated, so that doesn't have crystal pony anymore. Um, we sold out of our crystal pony membership. Dun, dun, OMG. Dun, dun. Hold on, let me double check. This looks good. Okay. Uh, look at all of our look at all of our, our things. So we sold out of Crystal Pony sponsored tier. Um, that gives you super awesome things like uh, an exclusive Crystal Pony gift, a, con a thank you in the con book, a sponsor exclusive backpack, um, access to the meet and greet, and all that good stuff. Um, so if you still want access to the meet and greet, High Society is where it's at. Um, please buy some High Society. You get meet and greet access. You get a thank you on the website. Move cup chip out of the way. Uh, you get front of line privileges for panels. Uh, if you want front of line privileges for also autographs, uh, you're gonna have to do Noble Pony now or Galactic Pony. And let me tell you, oh, Noble there's Pony. Still, there's still High Society. Yeah, yeah. But no, no, no. High Society only doesn't give you access That's true. to the. Uh, you know. so true. I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. I mean, I know all of our inside jokes, but I know what our our tiers do for membership. The uh, <laughs> the Noble Pony gives you. Uh, uh, the, not only the ability to go to the Guest of Honor meet and greet, which is my favorite thing, um, you also get to bring a plus one to the meet and greet. So you can bring a friend of any <coughs> other level um, so they can live the sweet life just like you do as a noble pony. Uh, you also get a super cool sponsor liaison, which is something that we talked with like our, our exec staff. We've never seen any other convention do this. It's basically um, the noble ponies and galactic ponies have so much so many extra events and so many exclusive things that they do that it's sometimes hard to keep track. So we literally, one of the perks is there is, you basically have a secretary, you basically have um, a spike-like assistant to keep track of all of the amazing perks and experiences that you have. Um, so that is super great. That's a sponsor liaison perk for Noble Pony and Galactic Pony. Um, and then of course the personalized gifts, a mascot plush, uh, and an intimate, and for Galactic Ponies, an intimate group guest of honor dinner. Uh, that is where you get to go to, usually we go to Max's, um, with guests of honor, and you get to choose who you sit with, um, and you uh, eat with them, and you get to talk with them in a very uh, intimate setting. Um, part of the, uh, something I want to talk about here, which is uh, the exclusive mascot plush, we happen to have last year's. Can we bring that out? Don't worry, guys. This isn't just a big ad. This is all part of the announcements. So, all right. Look at. I don't know if uh, the bad streamers can see the the scale. This is a big push. This is this is our this is our this is our sponsor our sponsor plush from 2019. Uh, this Golden Gate in her in her cyberpunk outfit. Um, yes, it comes off, but uh, <laughs> the uh, look at the attention to detail. She stands. I'm hoping. Oh God, thank God. All right, she stands. She's, I have. I don't do it. Yeah, her wings are. Uh, um, she's got her ponytail design. Isn't that the prototype one? The reason. The reason why. The reason why. Um, 
I'm bringing this up is not only will you get uh, an awesome plushie just like this for being a galactic tier pony, a completely different one because it's uh, Golden Gates in like the, the themed costume of the year. Uh, so it'll be different than this. And there'll only be 12 in existence. Um, this, if you really, really want the one from 2019, this exact one is going to be uh, sold off possibly in an auction format or maybe just like straight up highest bidder um, to go to the proceeds of the con. Um, this is someone who uh, was a, uh, what was last year's sponsor to your pony? CEO pony? Yeah. This is someone who was a CEO pony last year um, and was like, hey, uh, I know they wanted to give to BabsCon even more. And so what they wanted to do was re-donate this back to the con so that we can sell it for um, money. Uh, so this is, just to be clear, this is not money that's going to um, a charity, like we normally do, we normally have one of these for charity as well. Uh, but the person, we are the charity this time, um, uh, they want to um, make sure that we can profit from this uh, so that we can keep making our con awesome. Uh, so if you are interested in this um, email, I'm gonna make up an email right now and then make it as soon as it happens. Uh, email, email plush at babscon.com. I'm gonna make it in like two seconds, so as soon as I stop talking, you can uh, email that. Uh, we'll make a bigger announcement about this later, and we'll have a more formal way to, uh, to sell this plush. But if you're interested in, selling this plush, in buying this plush and supporting the con, um, to get this plush before, you would have needed to pay $2,500, um, so hopefully maybe you can get a better deal on that. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll do, we'll do the highest, the highest bid, it'll be great. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. And she comes with shoes. She comes with shoes. She comes with shoes. She comes with shoes. I think they come with socks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or slippers. Right? Yeah, they do. That's a that's a joke. I love it. All right. Uh, I believe those are all of the announcements that I have. Are we free? Let's see. Let me double check if you're free. Can you work for both sides? Just a general reminder to people, if anyone's shipping things to Bozen's, to the vice chair's place, please let him know before you ship it so that he knows it's coming. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there is a you know, ship. I'm going to go to the exec meeting notes. Last uh, final frontier. I like that the live stream is so great, but like my Google Docs is slow. <laughs> <laughs> I do not use That's definitely the, uh, I'd rather have it be that way. Let me check the live stream. I do. Well, my docs are loading. Uh, oh my god, a lot of people have talked. Uh, wait, there's rooms for staff, or did I mishear that? You misheard that. Uh, we do not give staff uh, rooms. Uh, there are some some departments that do get their own rooms for special reasons. Oh, nice. Oh, I love it. Oh, this, look at this. This guy is prepared right here. How's all that? Um, some staff get special rooms for special reasons. Um, but like, for instance, um, hospitality gets a room to do staff feed in so that we can feed you all. That's, I that's what I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, gen the general, generally staff don't get um, free rooms. But you do get free badges uh, and free swag, uh, which is more than other funny conventions used to give out back in the day. Let's see. Um, 
Someone said this on the chat, the term volunteer, we use the term volunteer and staff um, interchangeably. There's, staff there's, no, um, there's no distinction. We're all staff, we're all volunteers. No one's getting paid. Trust me, no one's getting paid. Uh, in fact, the opposite happens where we sometimes have to pay to uh, make sure that things get smoothly. So that'd be great. It'd be great if we didn't have to do that. Buy our merch at r.bathroom.com slash swag. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a store. Like yeah, school 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 that way. We, yeah care, so. we are like all the school teachers that way. My mom's a teacher, so I can say this. Okay, so <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, that's a good question. You want to advertise gophers? Well, we need gophers. Yeah, we need gophers. Uh, gophers, okay, so here's a, here's a distinction. Um, volunteers and staff are the same. Uh, but if you want to, if you want to, let me just turn it over here. If you want to help out the con, but have a little bit more control of your time, um, you can be a gopher. A gopher is a normal attendee, so you don't have to pay for your own badge, that just wants to help out. Um, so you get to go to the staff room and say like, hey, I want to help out, and then we assign you to do certain things. Sometimes we'll have you do things like door guarding doors, or, um, or, or making sure that panel, like just overseeing the panel to make sure that nothing bad's going on. Um, and you get perks as you work more hours, um, as you go up. Perks include things like you get access to the staff feed, which is for staff for volunteer staff only. Um, and you even, if you work enough hours, you even get uh, next year's badge uh, for free. Um, and then the highest tier is you get this badge, this year's badge for free. So that's great. So if you want to staff at the con but not want to give up so much of your time, that's a great way to do it. And yeah, just to be clear, uh, hotel rooms are not free for volunteers or staff. Everyone pays their own way. And yes, you can be staff and also be a sponsor tier um, as well. We love that. Yeah, um, if you guys pay for special events, uh, like if you are a, a galactic pony or whatever, um, yeah, just let your lead know and we'll make sure that you have time to do the things that you need to do. Uh, I was the chair, oh no, I was not the chair of the committee, but I was, uh, what was I last year? I don't know, I was a board board person. Uh, board. No, 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 not board, no, I was a board member. Um, I was doing a bunch of stuff, but I also made sure to, um, to do my CEO pony stuff. I may be Galactic Pony this year, so I'm just going to be like, all right, guys, you guys run the con. Uh, I'll be out having dinner with uh, Beer New or something. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see. So short sure answer is yes, you can. If you want to volunteer, go to uh, babscon.com slash volunteer. Through the executive meeting notes, anything that didn't get brought up? Show Sophie that I got the LEDs working. Oh, so, uh, this is a note for Sophie. The LEDs are working. Is this for something super special, super secret? Well, I don't know if it's super secret, but it's something special. Mm -hmm. That's going to be exciting. If you want to see these very LEDs, come to the convention. Oh, Vendors Merch and Con Store. We are working on that. Um, is design working with merch to do merchy things? Yeah, I definitely reached out about it. Okay, great. Perfect. Good to know. Uh, I believe all of the um, panels have been, people who signed up for panels already have all their acceptances, all the vendors already have all their acceptances. Um, I'm pretty sure everything that involves being accepted to it has been, has happened. Um, so if you don't have an email, you should have, because I think we did it so that if you got waitlisted or rejected, we also emailed you. I know in the past we sometimes didn't, and that sucks. 
Um, but now we're doing it right. So hell yeah. There's a note on that. Uh, panelists have received uh, emails saying the audio and Sorry. Yeah, yeah, they have. Uh, all right, cool. That's it. All right. Uh, let's look around the room. Thank you all for joining the uh, the BabsCon live stream. I'm sure this is great. Um, as I pan around the room, I'm sure all the live streams right. are getting a great framework. Jeez. Jeez. But um, <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for joining us. Uh, again, go to our new Etsy store. Uh, a lot of work has been put into it, both by the artists and the people setting up the store. Um, we will be adding new things as the years go, as not the years, but like, you know, as the months go. Um, all of them are exclusive online. Also, if you want to just straight up donate to BabsCon without the, uh, the consumerist capitalist facade, PayPal at BabsCon.com yeah, is where to go. Oh, what? I said down the Yeah, then, yeah. Um, we can't even get uh, birds now because the birds work for the blue closet. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe that ends BabsCon. Does anyone on the live stream? have final questions before we go. Or does anyone in the room have questions before we go? We never really did room questions. Last call for Yes, a question. This is for hospitality. I know hospitality in charge of three days of the Yes. Bring what? So, could we learn how to help with if that has to be with hospitality? Anything that could be like baked or cooked beforehand? Yes. Beforehand. Um, yeah. Yes. Talk, go to um, email. If you have suggestions like that, email um, hospitality at craftscom.com mm -hmm. um, and let them know what you're able to provide. Um, yeah, if anyone here has like food that they want to bring in for our staff, like, please do so. Like, we would love that. Um, that would help our our staff feed have more interesting foods. Um, and it would also help BabsCon support itself uh, since we don't have to buy so much food. Um, yeah. Is Flair a person or emergency team? <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> what? <laughs> Explain Flair. Uh, the latter. Where? That's what I was going to say. He had the zoo game played. Uh, was that a real that question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it's a person or emergency team. Where is a group that's been doing con safety and security for about, say, 30 years now? I think they started at uh, Baycon when Baycon was Baycon. Um, so they're very well experienced and uh, and do a lot of a lot of pretty neat stuff for us. If you're interested in being part of their team, they are looking for new recruits. So you can come to BabsCon.com, hop into the player office and talk to them about it and see what it takes to become a member of Flair. Nice. Um, we also have, um, uh, later down the line, I want to say probably in March, um, yeah, we'll, have, we'll have more. So, oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, these in-person meetings, uh, they're on our meetup page on uh, Bonk, the, Be the Bronies of Northern California. Uh, we'll also do better of advertising them out. We didn't advertise this one on social media, but we will for the next ones. We actually reserved a number of rooms um, and dates already. Normally we kind of do it like ad hoc, so we have to like every few weeks we ask the hotel. But this time I was just like, can we get all these dates? And they're like, some of them. And I'm like, great. Uh, so we've reserved some rooms, some dates. Uh, please check out um, our Bonk website for that. Um, the next one, the next in-person meeting will be... No, no, that's my birthday. Right? Wait, we share, we share a birthday? Yeah, we share a birthday. That's right. Yeah, we'll be celebrating that next time. I think, it's the, I think the next one is technically scheduled for the 29th, but I'm going to have one before that because that's way too late. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Yeah, there should be one at the beginning of February. Uh, we'll fix that. But right now, the next one's on February 29th, which is a day that doesn't exist all the time, which is kind of exciting. Um, and then the one after that will be March 8th. Uh, and I'm sure after that one, we'll probably have two more that will be our meetings. Uh, what that'll be are the, that's the mandatory meetings 
that we need for all staff to at least see. So that's why we live stream these and you can record them and watch them later. Uh, because that's when we will be talking about like safety. That's when we're talking about what do you do if there's a lost child? Uh, what do you do when someone's hurt? Uh, and the answer to 99.9% .9 of that is to call con support. The con support is a con, is con support. Is it con ops this year? It's con ops now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so call, call the number on the Somebody thought rebranding was a good idea. Uh, call the number on the back of your bag. Always been in Exactly. The, um, As a uh, God intended. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's the answer for like 90% of it. So there you go. To me, no. no, but seriously, come to it. We do other activities and stuff too. Well, that'll be down. That'll be in. Um, but if you want to join us for the in-person meetings in person, please do. Uh, if not, continue live streaming. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, streaming and giving us ideas. Highly recommend. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, right. Was that? Was that it? Was I going to say anything else? Bring your friends. Bring your family. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Bring the person on the bus next. To you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm do that. I've seen what's on the bus. <coughs> Okay. Also, um, if you see any posts on social media, please like them and, and all that good stuff. Uh, we literally have over like 170 something staffers, but our social media posts get like 10 likes, and it's just like what? Oh, please! Um, so please uh, subscribe to us on Twitter, twitter.com/babscon. Uh, like, follow, and subscribe. Uh, like, follow, and subscribe. I know. Discord. Uh, like, follow, we are on the Discord. Go check out our Twitter for that. The link to Hit that it. bell. I know, right? Uh, Facebook. We're also on. Subscribe. We're also on um, on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Babscon. We're on Instagram. That's something I want to advertise too. Is like we have we have like a hundred something followers on Instagram, but we have ten thousand. We have ten thousand followers on Twitter. So I'm just like, can we just? Yeah. You know, move things over. Anyway, yeah, um, I don't have to move things over. Yeah, you, you know, like, <laughs> um, we and, move and we have like two thousand ish people on our Facebook, so it's like, where's the discrepancy here? Um, uh, so please support us there. Please like our stuff. Um, share with your friends. Um, the the brony, where 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 is it? Let me make sure I get this on camera. The Brony fandom won't like won't die if you continue supporting it. So like support it. Um, even if, if we have like for any not just for us but for any convention like if they have spirit badges and if you can't attend and they have spirit badges please buy something from them. Um, if they have their own store please buy stuff from them. Um, the people think that conventions are like pillars that will always be around, uh, but that's clearly not the case. Uh, you, like the the idea of like oh I'll go next year without supporting any prior year is sort of like that's how cons die. Um, so if you ha can support us in any way, you know buy that. I was about to say buy that hat, but I'm like we don't have hats, but I'm like maybe. Mm. Um, you know buy buy those shirts, buy those. Um, by those sponsor sponsor spirit badges, um, you know, share the convention. If you have any people who like used to be bronies and maybe they've lost they've lost that spark and they want to get something good back into their lives, uh, give them a ticket to Babscon. It's great. Um, buy you know, some apples. Buy some apples. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. 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 As as yeah. as convention staff, we see ourselves as like a place where where the fandom can still show off its uniqueness, show off its skills. Um, we, we think of ourselves as like the supporters of the fandom um, because like if cons go away, it's almost like we just kind of have the internet. Uh, but in reality, it's the reverse. It's that the fans support the cons. Um, we, we can put on because there are people who still want to see a great show. Uh, we could put on the best show in the world and no one could come. Um, that's not happening this year, obviously, but like that's the reality is we could, you know, we don't, every year it's always a gamble. We don't know if enough people will come to justify the con's existence. Um, that's why we have new revenue streams. That's why we have um, new, new staffers, new ideas um, to try to make us 
um, not just like relevant, but also um, appealing to bronies both like old and new. Um, so support your local convention, whether it's us or another one. Uh, buy that sponsor, buy that spirit badge, uh, buy that sponsor badge, uh, buy that t-shirt. Don't forget the upgrades. And or yeah, you can also upgrade too. Like if you have already bought a badge and you're like, oh, I want to get that nope, that high society badge. Um, just email us, we'll upgrade you. I, I also meant the add-ons. Yeah, and the add-ons too. Upgrade, go to the, go to the premium experiences. Um, just give us money at paypal at babsfriend.com if that's your, if that's what you want to do. Like, and that sounds weird to say, but like we literally got like at least six or seven people on our uh, on our Discord saying, we give you money. We're like, yes, yes you can. That is the, the better way we prefer to do things. Um, so support the Brony fandom and we will continue to be here. Um, but as soon as that stops happening, that's when we go away. So thank you for that. Thank you for supporting us. And thank all these people here for supporting us, all the bad streamers online who are uh, staffers. For people who want to be staffers, um, thank you. Go to babscon.com slash volunteer and volunteer. Um, the con cannot happen without you. Um, yeah, so thank you. Now we, this is where we do the thing where I, I make the, the bad streamers uh, uh, FOMO. Uh, who here wants to, so after, for people who have been here to one of these live meetings, afterwards we go to, um, well first we're gonna do breakouts because we haven't totally done that yet. Yeah. But, um, but we go to Max's to eat some food and, and be a family together, we have to eat food. Um, who is gonna go to that, raise your hand. Heck yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, please do the counting. I'm just gonna be filming. Um, so if you want to join us at Max's next time, uh, you know February 29th is uh, a date for the meetup. I uh, will probably have one before that. I want to say like go? February, the first week end of February. Max's hands up. Um, so we're we'll hands up. Hands up. So, thank you, back streamers. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, let me double check that no one said anything since I did my long rambly talk. Do, 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 do. Yes, security is, well, security is con ops, I guess. No, security is flare. No. Security is flare. Flare. flare they also do medical responses, and all kinds of stuff. Yes, Babscon is in Northern California. Burlingame, California to be exact. Check out our website for more info. Babscon.com. A lot of love in the uh, in the chat for Babscon. Anyway, thank you guys for coming. Thank you all for coming. What did that frame rate drop? What did that frame rate drop? Uh, have a good day. Uh, come to FurCon, support us. Um, do our stores and all that good stuff. You've heard me. Um, thank you. We will be ending the live stream in a few seconds. Three, two, three. Gonna, gonna need to account for the lag.